Well, here we go. We're off to uh, the Mark Men for Christ weekend here in New Jersey. And uh, I'm sitting in the car here with my buddy Chris. What's going on, Chris? How are you feeling about this weekend? Excited is a word for it. I don't think he knew it was going to be an interview. <laughs> <laughs> True, but... Oh, man. Okay, so I'm excited for one big reason is the fact that I get to bear my heart in front of these men. And I'm looking forward to that. But another thing is I got a couple friends coming who I'm looking forward to seeing God do some really, really awesome work in their lives. So that's going to be, it's going to be a cool experience. Yeah, absolutely. I've got some guys coming too. I'm excited about uh, a couple guys I invited who signed up and, um, you know, they've confirmed they're coming in. So it's, I can't wait to see them tonight, shake their hand, welcome them into the, uh, into the event. You know, this is such a cool event. So here's something that I don't know if you saw this, Chris, I posted it this morning. Um, so at about, let me just turn down the fan here, at about, uh, let's say, 11 o'clock this morning, uh, we're going to start our official meetings as staff, as volunteers, and just start going through stuff and preparing for this weekend. Um, but at about 11 o'clock this time, exactly five years ago, I was finishing my Mark Men for Christ weekend. So today's like the fifth anniversary of my Mark Men weekend. Really? Yeah. That's so cool. The actual day. So I saw that pop up on my reminder this morning when I was working. Um, but man, you know, it's such a powerful weekend. You got these guys who come from all over the place and we connect so closely and it's such a brotherhood. Um, the Holy Spirit just pours through that place and heals hearts, um, empowers guys to be stronger in their faith. I wish I could do this every weekend. So Here's something neat. There's a guy, I don't know if you know this, there's a guy coming on the weekend, and I don't know if everybody knows this, but uh, back in 2014 when I did my weekend, that was the first time I went as a participant, and this is my 12th volunteer time. Pay every time we go, right? Because we want to be able to pay it forward for the other guys who are coming. Yeah. There's a guy on this weekend who was on the same weekend as me in a different state, 40 second staffing. 42 staffings since 2014. This is how this thing changes men's lives. And I run a business, you know, all that kind of stuff. Actually, I think he runs a business. He's got three kids. Man, he's outclassing me. I run a business, only have two kids. Are you talking about Dano? I'm talking about Dano. Dano! You got it. Yeah, so he is, uh, he's a dude. I love that guy. I met him. Uh, we got Philip coming. We got LC coming. We got LZ. I'm sorry, we got Z coming and LC. Uh, those are the, the co-leaders, if you will. And then we got all the staff coming up. We got, I think, 35 guys coming up to staff this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be a really cool time. Cool. So there are hundreds of guys going through this weekend in New Jersey, in Colorado, out in Poland. We've already um, got, we've already got almost 120 guys signed up for North Carolina next weekend, which oh, I'll be down man. there doing that one. A few, Listen, a few really good men. Yeah, so what's the bottom line here? If you haven't done this weekend yet, if you're a Christian man and you haven't done this weekend yet, you are missing out. It is an incredible weekend. Bottom line is there's guys, like, I'm I'm only 26, and Joe here's got a couple years on me. Hey, watch it. <laughs> and bottom line is it doesn't matter where you are in your walk. You could be newly coming to Christ, and you just know that you've got a lot of baggage you got to unpack. Or you could be in the walk for a decade, or dec like me, or you could be in the walk for decades upon decades. I met a man yesterday who's been a Christian for 40 years and he said he's still got stuff he deals with. So this is a powerful weekend for you no matter where you at in your walk. At the end of the day, you're always going to have stuff. Woundedness happens. But it's that acknowledgement of that woundedness and it's the acknowledgement that Jesus is the only one who can fix it. He gives us the opportunity to change. He gives us the opportunity to move forward. And if we take those opportunities, if we roll with them, if we just run, let God run wild in our lives, he just does massive work. So this is just a powerful weekend for anybody, no matter where you are at in your walk. And it's just encouragement beyond encouragement to just look into marked men, look into it and just go. It doesn't, it, it's pay what you can. It's go because you, God works. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience of seeing men's lives truly change through it. Yeah, you know, one of the other aspects of this that just hit me that we go through is, uh, I won't get into all the details of it, but what are you made for, right? I mean, why are you here? We're called ambassadors. If I'm sitting at a stoplight right now, if there was a police officer standing in front of me in the intersection, I have two choices. I could respect his authority as an ambassador of the law, 
uh, which most people do, thank God, right? Um, or I could try to run them over, which would put me in jail, and there'd be the authority of the law behind it. But regardless, you know, a 180-pound, 200-pound guy can stop my multiple thousand-pound truck because he has authority. We have authority in Christ as ambassadors in him. Well, how do you learn how to use that authority? How do you learn how to live a life um, that truly models righteousness, which is right standing with God? How do you know that you're right standing with God when you live a life that struggles with temptation or with anger or with any of those things, right? Well, we, we sort of go through some of that and we show you how to tap into that, tap into that Holy Spirit power inside of you, on you, outside of you, all around you. You're a light on a hill that can't be hidden. So if you're running to that hill and you're running to that city for refuge, that's awesome. When you get there, you find out they got goats and poop on the ground and chickens running around. We all got stuff, right? But how do you be that light on the hill even though you got all that poop? So that's a little weird, but that's one of the things we go through, <laughs> right? It's one of the things we go through. We're just being real. We're being authentic and transparent. So check out a weekend, guys. Come on out join us sometimes. There's still room right now in New Jersey. If you see this on time, October, what's today, 25th? Yeah, October 25th. I should be looking at the road when I'm driving, right? Probably. Yeah, we're passing the police station, though. We're okay. So, <laughs> um, yeah, there's still time. Sign up. MarkedMenForChrist.org. I triple dog dare you. You won't shoot your eye out.